we've got a number of floating wetlands at our Waikato Peat Lake, um, Lake Ariari. They're a little bit of an experiment to see how they work around here. We have them situated between the main motorway and one of our Fonterra provider farms with the idea that the floating wetland is catching the runoff from both of those and really sort of to see how much nutrients and heavy metals and things like that can be taken out of the water before they progress past the floating wetland and go near um, some of our important places. Floating wetlands are exactly that. They're a, um, an artificial mat put on top of a water body. Um, they can go into drains, and lakes, anywhere that's a water body. Uh, what's really cool about them is they just float just beneath the surface and you plant plants. The top of them is above the water level and the bottom bit right the way down uh, through the water column is their roots. So if you can imagine hydroponics, same sort of system. Um, and just like hydroponics that uh, take all the nutrients out of the water column, so do these plants. They're a great idea. There's more to them really than just trying to extract nutrients out. There's other things that they provide like bird habitat. Um, you can put traps on them and things like that. Um, there's a shading element that they have in the water. Uh, you know, ideally in one, we could use them for cultural harvesting. We could plant flax in them because you can pull them to shore and things. Um, you could start to grow grasses or something like that. So there's all sorts of ideas. It's really trying different things and trying new ideas. They're not the answer to everything, but they're certainly something we can use in conjunction with a number of other things. For farmers, it's a way of doing things without necessarily having to use their land to do it. But it's something that they could try for engagement has a bit more of appeal than, than sort of saying we want to come in and use a digger on your land or something like that. A lot of this work is the conversation that you can have with the farmer about how we have those relationships and how they can learn as well as, as we can learn with them.